couldn't settle the case, and uh, and your question is a good one. How many cases you know go to yeah. trial? And it's a it's a small percentage. Uh, our philosophy always is to try to settle the case with the insurance company on behalf of the client if we can for a lot of reasons. Uh, number one, trials are stressful. The clients don't realize how stressful they are until they actually get into the courtroom. Uh, they're expensive too, Jeff. And uh, people say, I want to go to trial. Well, let's let's talk about that. We're going to have to pay your doctor $4,000 to come in and testify, and there's going to be $10,000 in out-of-pocket costs. And that's a, a reasonable figure, just a middling, you know, mid-range type trial. It's, that's about what it costs. This trial, I think our out-of-pocket costs were, were over $7,000. Now we won, and so we're going to assess those costs against the defendant and ultimately the uh, Allstate Insurance Company. Uh, but this case would not settle. The adjuster made an offer. She would never come off of, ever. And what happened was... And we said, okay, fine, we'll, tr we'll try the case. And what happened was a, an, in a, an independent contractor delivering Mission Food products to the Walmart store down there at Six Mile Cypress was pushing one of these uh, dollies, you've seen them, where they load them with the plastic mm -hmm. crates with the product, and he ran it right into her back as she's leaning over a, a frozen food case there. And, uh, and, and we maintain injured her, and she went to the hospital that day and then began a course of, uh, of medical treatment and care. And it was interesting, we... We took the deposition of the gentleman that caused this incident, and we took it before he knew that we'd obtained, there was a surveillance film, 24-7 surveillance film in that Walmart store. We got it from Walmart, and they didn't know it. And we had it. And we started asking him about this incident, and he started uh, testifying through a translator uh, that, you know, I didn't, I didn't hit her, I didn't do this. If I, you know, I was distracted, there were kids in the aisle, and and people and and I, I didn't I didn't even, I don't even think I hit her. He wouldn't even acknowledge that he hit her. And of course, we had this video showing there was no kids in the aisle. The aisle was clear. He just wasn't look. Oh, he said I looked around both sides of the cart, left and right as I'm pushing it. He looked around one side only. It was as clear as could be. And so we were able to show that he had not testified truthfully about what had occurred. Uh, and yet, despite that, they were only willing to pay X number of dollars, never came off of it, and we made a reasonable offer to settle the case. We felt reasonable offer to settle it. They wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, agree to it, and we said, okay, we'll, we'll go to a jury down there. And we spent three days down there in front of a jury, and, uh, and, and I think tripled you know, the, the amount of money that they were willing to offer as well, and now they'll pay our costs as well. Uh, but those, you know, we did that because we felt it was the right thing to do. My clients literally, uh, they're, they're, they're retired, uh, they're in ill health, they had to borrow money. They would moved back up to Rhode Island, Jeff, to be closer to their family. They had to borrow money to come down here to try this case, which I, you know, admired them doing. Their daughter, who's a nurse, came down to kind of support them, and they felt strongly enough about this that, look, I am injured, and we're going to, we're going to take the fight to, to these guys, and it turned out, it turned out uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and the, it, 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 there's a salutary effect to taking these insurance companies to trial once in a while. They've got to know that you're willing to do it, even though, uh, you know, you could probably make more money at, at, the, at the office. And, and that they know that Froelich, Gordon, and Beeson will take them to trial and that there's a price to that. You know, they paid, they hired this doctor to come in and paid him, I think, $4,000, and he conducted a, he examined my client, they've got an absolute right to do that. People don't understand that. If you're a plaintiff, the insurance company is going to get you examined every time by one of their doctors. Right. He examined this lady for four minutes. We sent a videographer to the examination, and I'm so glad that I did. Uh, and this doctor comes in, goes through this cursory examination, literally thinks she's been involved in an automobile accident for the first five minutes. <laughs> he starts asking her about the position of the cars, even though she's been hit by a grocery cart or a, a, a food cart in, in Walmart. And so we just, I had fun with him on cross-examination, and we had the financial record showing that he, had, he and his partners since 2009 have been paid a quarter of a million dollars by this one law firm to conduct these examinations. Now... What do you think that what do you think the reports are going to say every time? Wow. What are they going to say every time? Plaintiff isn't injured, no permanent <clears throat> injury. We I went after him. That's why you go to law school to cross-examine guys like that. The jury didn't pay any attention to him. They didn't even mention him in their closing argument. He was he was he was uh, he was skewered and and and, uh, and and rightfully so. But that's the way this game is played. They'll send you every time. And there's a list of these four or five doctors up and down the coast see the same guys every time. 
I know what their report's going to say before they ever examine you, Jeff, because they're going to say the same thing every time. No permanent injury, no further treatment, reasonable and necessary, so on and so forth. And that's the way the, 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 the game is played. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with Court Froelich, and i got a question about John Griffin.